welcome to day six. Today we'll be stitching a rainbow quilt block with the 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler. Let's get stitching! <music> To stitch a nice curved line to create this rainbow design, I'll begin by holding the 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler. Now as you look at the 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler, you'll see that there are diagonal lines marked through the center of that block. Those diagonal lines, the inside smaller lines, are a 45 degree angle. So I will line those 45 degree angle lines up with the side of my block to know that I have a nice curve coming from that corner. From there, I will stitch a point to point curved line across my block from side to side. When I get to one side of my block, I'll stitch in the ditch moving over half an inch. From that point, I'll stitch a second curved line. When I stitch my second curved line, I'll adjust my ruler so that my first marked line on the four in one machine quilting ruler is lined up with my previous stitch line. Now you'll see as I continue to work my way through this block, because the curved line does adjust and grow quite a bit through the block, it gets larger, I will need to adjust my block, my ruler across my block so that I can continue to keep that nice half inch spacing all the way across the block. enjoyed today's block and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website peaceandquilt.com and don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag let's stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow!